2024 is going to be a weird year on this YouTube channel, and you can already tell it's a little weird because why is Fire Monkey doing a full camera video on the commentary channel without actually having background gameplay or anything, right? I mean, like, this isn't really even edited. It's just me sitting here in front of OBS and recording it. I mean, if I want to, right, I can go ahead and blur it for you guys. If you don't want to see what I look like, I can go ahead and make the whole entire video in this format, but that's not what we're here for, right? We are here to talk about the changes to this channel, and it's an interesting one. As you guys know, I haven't really been uploading too frequently on this channel, and that's kind of been the flow I've always had here, is that this is the secondary channel. This is the whatever channel, basically. I call it the commentary channel, but it's basically a channel where I'm like, do I feel like talking about this today? Well, I'm going to talk about that today, and I want to talk about the future of what's going to happen with this channel and kind of what's going on in general. Now, recently, I've actually been sick. I haven't really been uploading on this channel because of me being sick, but also on top of that, I do daily videos on the Fortnite channel. Channel, right? So it's like I'm guaranteed already doing one video a day, might as well just do that video and not worry about anything else. Just take the rest of the time to kind of just relax and not worry about if I'm going to end up dying and pilling over or whatever else in my sleep just because I decided to make an extra little video for another channel that gets a fraction of the views. Now, when it comes to this channel, I've never really had a specific genre it fit into. I've literally had people comment on this channel before, being like, Fire Monkey, I get you want to do this channel or whatever, but everyone under the sun does the exact same content. You're best off just making a brand new channel under a completely different name if you want to do this style of content, but maybe you should change it. Maybe you should do something that isn't oversaturated on the internet. And look, I understand it. I get, you know, talking about random topics that interest me is kind of like what Moist Critical does, kind of like what other people do, right? You know, you got Pyrocynical, you have yourself a, a, a Mudahar, right? You have a lot of people who do this type of content. However, the reason I do it is not because I'm trying to become a massively successful content creator or anything like that, right? If anyone's paid attention to how I've gone about social media, I just kind of do things for the sake of doing it if I enjoy it, right? I mean, the Fortnite YouTube channel and the Fortnite Twitter account, the thing that made me get that silver play button that is outside of the actual view has been something I've always done in a way where it was fun to me and I enjoyed actually doing it or ends up becoming a whole entire routine where I'm like, okay, you know, I enjoy doing it, but also it's just a daily thing for me to do similar to waking up, going to sleep, all that type of stuff. And this channel has never had the goal of trying to be the next, the big successful thing out there. It's never been something where I was like, oh, this video is going to get a million of views or anything. And as I've experimented on this channel before, I know that if I really wanted to get a ton of views, I could just talk about drama all day, right? Because I've made some videos on drama a while ago, like a year or two ago and those always did really really solid on the YouTube channel but that's not the type of channel I want to be this channel has always been something where I just kind of make content that I enjoy because I want to make it or I want to ramble about something and that's how it's going to continue be going forwards however I do want to continue uploading on this channel a little bit more I have some video ideas that originally was going to be for an anime channel but when I was working on that channel I found out oh god you know it is a pain and it is a suffering because copyright strikes up the butt I, I made one video it was going to be on One Piece and everything else when One Piece gets good. That video didn't really have too many copyright strike issues or whatever, but then the second video was going to be on ZOM 100, and let me tell you, it was not easy. It was not fun. It, it was a pain. And I eventually got to the point where I saved the file and accidentally closed out of Premiere. So I had a video that was getting copyrighted and copyrighted. After I fixed a copyright strike, another strike would hit and everything else. And I no longer had the original video file anymore. So I was just like, I'm done with making that video, right? But it was the original plan, the original schedule for that channel. So I was just like, well... I haven't launched it yet, so I guess I don't have an obligation to continue doing it, but I might still bring one of the videos I was planning to put on that channel over to this one in the future, which is going to be a whole entire video related to me returning to Genshin Impact for the first time in like two years, so that is something of an exciting gaming-related thing to talk about, but yeah, you know, it's like I've tried doing some experimental stuff, some things I'm excited for, but let me tell you, running an anime channel in 2024 has too many copyright strikes, and I don't know how to deal with them. I've watched some YouTube videos here and there, but that's mainly for if you're like reacting to content, and not trying to make the whole entire focus the actual anime thing itself and let me tell you I'm not trying to go ahead and make a video that is 30% transparency the entire time now something else I should kind of talk about here regarding the whole entire channel and everything is in like a month or two you know I'm not exactly for certain yet the exact time period but very very soon 
I'm going to be taking my first ever solo trip. I'm going to be going somewhere that I've always wanted to go. You ask other content creators and stuff that I talk to all the time. This has been a place that I've always mentioned them as like a goal of something I want to do later down the line. And I'm finally getting ability to take that trip, which is going to be a trip to Japan. I'm going to be bringing stuff with me so I can go ahead and create some cool content. And it's actually right here. I have my camera bag because I bought a brand new camera for all this type of stuff. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. It is this right here. Same type of camera. You actually see some people use as like their webcam and everything for youtube videos and maybe i'll try that out but i'm going to be recording some footage from japan while i'm there and i'm going to potentially be turning that into actual content on this channel i know someone who's probably watching this video because they have notifications on for the channel so they want to make thumbnails for that type of content so maybe that is something to go and do soon and you know see on the future of this channel but at the same time it's something that i'm kind of worried about because it's a situation where i'm like yeah you know it's content that i would be excited for i would love to go ahead you know hand off the footage to an editor or something be like here make like uh, the whole entire series out of this or something make my own little type of series that i edit myself for you guys and then have a friend go ahead and you know I'll, of course pay them and everything for it make thumbnails for those videos so you have like a whole entire unique flair to it you have the drawn out thumbnails all this type of stuff going on but at the same time it's like that's not what this channel is am i getting too far ahead of myself or is this something that you guys would actually be fine with and actually enjoy and that's kind of what the stake of this video is, right? I'm still going to have my videos where I'm sitting down here playing Call of Duty. I actually recently got Interstellar camo. I'll go ahead and make a video on that like tomorrow or soon. And I still am going to have those little rambly things where I just kind of talk about what's ever on my head while playing a video game. You know, just some dudes hanging out and having some fun. But at the same time, I want to also make this extra content. And one part of me is like, oh, put it on a new channel. But the other part of me is like, you don't have enough content to go ahead and put it on a new channel and keep that channel going. And, you know, if you put on the main channel here i guess the commentary channel whatever you want to call it sure it's your whatever channel but it's different audiences i mean i've tried before i've done the binding of isaac as a series on this channel eventually that got spun off into the fire monkey plus channel you guys know today because it was hurting this channel rather than helping it and i just kind of want to know what are you guys here for? What type of content would you like to see? Would you be fine with seeing some Japan, you know, Tokyo vlog type stuff in the future on top of the normal, you know, me kind of just chilling here type of content? Or is that something that I should just kind of hold in the fire monkey vault for years upon years until maybe five years from now, I'm a skinny dude who's actually going and traveling the world or something. Now that is a joke because I am always just a chubby boy and that's how it's going to be. But I would love to hear your guys' opinions and what we could potentially do to evolve the content going forward. Forwards. Not only that, but I also want to go ahead and do more live streams, potentially do some live storytelling on there or whatever else, and turn that into videos on this channel. But really, it's in a moment where I'm like, I want to do more, right? I want to go ahead and make this channel something that you guys enjoy, that I enjoy. I mean, I already enjoyed it and everything else, but I also want it to be known that I'm never going to be doing this channel in the form of trying to make the most money. I don't even do that on the Fire Monkey channel. You know, the I Fire Monkey one, the Fortnite one? I always do this stuff because I enjoy it. It's a fun little hobby, and it's crazy to see how far I've been able to go by just having fun with it and just doing it without really thinking about it as like a job where you have to go ahead and meet these specific analytical goals or whatever, right? Sure, there's bad months or whatever. I see the analytics and I'm like, oh, these videos are doing garbage. But at the same time, there's really, really good months as well. And I don't really try following the trend or anything. I just kind of do what I do for the sake of doing it. And yeah, I just thought I would sit down at the start of New Year's. You know, I'm still feeling a little sick, but getting better. And I thought I would just kind of talk with you guys about it because, you know, even though the video is like this, probably only get like two, three, four views or whatever else, I'll probably start promoting the channel and stuff more on my Twitter account and everything because I would love to get more people interested in just whatever I'm interested in. And it's an interesting little time. I mean, especially for me because I am someone who's like a homebody, right? And the thought that I would be going to Japan, I mean, I've already thought about canceling the trip. I mean, there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on even today with the start of New Year's 2024 about Japan that's made me worried on if I should go or or not because of all the like earthquakes and things but at the same time it's an opportunity that I have granted myself because of what I've done online while also just kind of having fun with all of it so I want to still do it and potentially get out of the mold I'm currently in where I feel that you know going out seeing the world or whatever that's a cool dream but it's only a dream I shouldn't actually ever do it so who knows what the future of this channel has but I do just kind of want to make a little update video for 2024 talking about everything and I also want to mention that 
the thumbnail you guys saw, I had to put my ring light at the max brightness. And oh my god, is it bright. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Oh, there it is. Yep, as you can see, this is the max brightness. And I need sunglasses for it if we're going to actually continue with that brightness. I don't know what the point of that was. But hey, welcome to 2024, baby. Welcome to the Fire Monkey channel. Who knows? Maybe I'll go ahead and make the profile picture of this channel just my face or something. Maybe it won't just be a cartoony drawn Fire Monkey or anything. We really don't know what 2024 has in store, but I really do want to just kind of do more stuff. I mean, I've been getting invites to, you know, play with some content creators and stuff here and there, but I never really do anything with the footage. I just kind of have it sitting on my computer, eventually end up deleting it, and I go on with my day. And, you know, sometimes, especially when I'm recording these videos, I'm mainly there to help the content creators get their content out because I'm just not feeling it some of these days. But with that said, uh, here's the 2024. Here's the tons of new content coming on this channel very, very soon. And who knows? Maybe this will be my second channel with 100,000 subscribers. Maybe not. Most likely not. But until next Next time, I'll catch you champs and champettes a little bit later. Peace out.